Welcome folks. So in the previous session we understood that uh, uh, if a ray stands on a line then the sum of the adjacent angles so formed is 180 degrees. So we learned in the previous session that if there is a line and a ray stands over it let's say this ray let's say the names are uh, O and let's say this is A, B and C right. So we learned that angle A, O, C plus angle COB COB is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, this is what we learned. Now we have to prove the converse of it. Converse is that if the sum of two adjacent angle is 180 degrees, now that it is given, let's say this is given, then you have to prove that the non-common arms are two opposite rays. Okay, so we will be using something called method of contradiction here. Okay. The method is called method of contradiction. Contradiction. What does this method mean? Let's say for anything to have only two possibilities. Let's say if if a, a statement is there. Let's say if a statement is there. Now the statement can either be true or it is false. Okay. So somehow if you prove that it is not false. Okay, let us or, or uh, you start with let's say the statement is false and somehow you prove that logically that uh, our assumption was wrong. Let's say it the statement cannot be false, then automatically the statement becomes true. Okay, this is what is the logic behind method of contradiction. So here they are saying that if the adjacent, sum of the adjacent angles is 180, then their non-common arms are two opposite rays. So we'll start with the assertion that let the non common arms non common arms not be the opposite arms okay that means now they are not opposite so let us start with you know uh, a diagram so let's say this was given okay so again we'll take o a b and c now this was given and it was given that angle AOC plus angle COB is 180 degrees. Okay. This is given. So we had to prove that. We had to prove that OA and OB are opposite rays. Opposite rays. So we are saying, we are, we are saying that let they are they be not opposite that means if oa and ob are not opposite then then what happens if they are not opposite there must be some some ray which is opposite to it to to each one of them then let us say od is opposite to let us say od is opposite to O A, okay, and let me draw it now. So let us say I'm saying this D, right? So don't go by the figure, you know. So that's what we are going to prove that you know it is appearing also not to be opposite. But then just to prove for the argument sake, we are saying let's say if you are saying O B is not opposite to O A, then there must exist another ray O D which is opposite to O A, right? So O D is opposite to O A. That means A O D a, O and D, all these three points lie, lie on a straight line, on a straight line, okay, this is what we can, we can say, why, because now O, A and O, D are opposite, now in the previous theorem, we learned that, if a ray stand on a straight line, okay, so now we are saying on a straight, uh, so that means A, O, D is a straight line, is a straight line, should be a straight line since we are claiming OD to be opposite to OA. Now OC stands on stands on AOD line AOD. Okay, this implies. Therefore, what is what is implied by it? That means angle AOC plus angle COD must be equal to one eighty degree by the previous theorem, right? So let me call this as 1 and this as 2. 
so hence i can say from 1 and 2 since both are equal to 180 degrees i can equate them so what can i say i can say angle aoc plus angle cob is equal to angle aoc plus angle cob okay both are equal to 180 degrees now clearly aoc and aoc gets cancelled this implies angle cob is equal to angle cob okay now two angles are equal two angles angles are equal right with common with co as the common arm common arm and ob and od on the same side of co same side of CO, if you see in this figure, OD and OB, OD and OB, both are on the same side of OC, and the way you are saying both the angles are equal, how can that be possible? This means it is possible, it is possible only when D coincides with B, right? Only when this D, point D, is on B, only then the two angles will be equal. That means that means this means that d and b are same points same point isn't it and you had you had said that od was opposite and since od was or is opposite to oa therefore ob is opposite to oa why because now d and b are the same point so understood this is what is the proof of the converse of this or this particular theorem which says that if the sum of two adjacent angle is 180 degrees then their non common arms are two opposite rays we just proved that and we used what method of contradiction so please keep this method in mind